Welcome back to Benoni, South Africa, where we are all set for the last match in the round robin segment of the inaugural ACA Africa T20 Cup tournament. Uganda taking on Ghana in a very important clash. More important for Ghana because they're going to have to do all of the running and Uganda will look to control the proceedings. The pitch has played well and uh, this is the look of it today. Again, as we saw with the previous pitch, there are fine cracks, but they've not uh, really met it at all. It's played nice and true. The batsmen have had wonderful value for their strokes, and uh, they've been able to play and measure the pace here. And the bowlers, those that have really put their backs in, have also got some reward. Obed Harvey and Brian Masaba. Brian, have you got the toss, uh, the coin? All right, let's go. Tails. Tails is a call. It's a tail. Ghana's won the toss. Yeah, we want to have a bet. First. Okay, Obed, what are you doing? We're batting first. Okay, what's the reason for that? I uh, just want to put some score on the board uh, so that we can put some pressure in uh, chasing on the opposition. Yeah. Okay, Brian, what would you have done? Uh, probably would have had a bat first. Uh, we had a look at the morning game and it looked like it was a good wicket to bat on. So, But, you know, at the end of the day, still got to come out here and bowl well. All the best. Good luck for today. So, the news for them from the middle is Ghana have won the toss and have decided to bat. And the Ghana team. All the eyes are going to be on Rexford Buckroom. Can he repeat the, his, the heroics of the first match? And uh, I'm quite certain that they believe in their strength to the Ghanaian team. And uh, they'll be looking to put their best performance in today. The Ugandan team. Yeah, that's how they set up. Brian Masaba, Simon Sesazi. We've seen a bit of uh, Desidet Mumuza, Waisawa, Murungi, and the lively wicket keeper in Akilam. Where the Ghana can put up a total of 150 and above. Not yet to see. Last few words from the captain as everything now is up to them to get themselves top of the table with three wins in three matches. They perhaps looked at how Ghana, Uganda have played and how they've fared with bat in hand. And they've looked at it, the options of uh, batting first. A man we've seen a bit of, Cosmos Kyota. Lanky fast bowler. One leg, please. It looks like he will have two slips. Third man, fine leg, umpire signals play. One. Off the bat. That's a single. Yeah, that's wide. Has a flash at it. There's third man. And so they'll come through for just a single. Tries to drill it onto the surface. It was practice pitches, but not past the man at point. Four for no loss. Well, this is my bowler thus far in this tournament, Juma Miyagi. Excellent. Excellent. Top of off. Quick single. Probably was his only invitation to take up the coaching role in Uganda. He's on his back. On the back foot. Excellent fielding inside the circle. Uganda won't mind the start, dealing in singles, Ghana. Yeah, well stopped. From the inner circle. Now oh, that uh, extra cover region and they still stick to a single. Now it goes for length, over slip. Because of his pace, it will trickle down to the boundary for four. End of the third. Top edge, four runs. So they finished the over with uh, four runs. Over the top. Third man will do the fielding and make sure it's just a single. Great stuff. Great intensity from Uganda. Backfoot punch. 
But it's a thickish outside edge towards third man area. Does well, groundwork to make sure it's just a single. It's that body language. Everybody talks about the first thing they want to pick up as you make your way to the middle. Four was gone, 18 for no loss. Got a batting first. Change of bowling from the uh, Ikuruleni end, the commentary box end of this ground. Nice, right Now he's most certainly under like pressure because like it's three dot balls. And the club had to just provide accommodation, and uh, he was a real valuable player. 18 without loss after five. Let's hope that it's all out the way for Shah and he can continue with the ball. A bit of bounce. Cut away and uh, not too far from the man at Gully. Oh, it bubbled it on the boundary. When you're trying to squeeze the opposition batters, restrict the runs, the boundaries, and you're doing a good job, and then this happens. Twenty-three for now, six hours bold. That's the power play. Oh! I don't want to lose unnecessary wickets. They're pushing hard here, and um, I think they'll get too comfortably. This is well played and try and overheat the ball, but just caress it into the gap. It was in fact 78 to 45, which uh, you'll need to do that today if this whole net run rate story is something that Ghana are interested in or have taken into mind. Good pull shot. Let's come out more often now, and it's good to see the way that the batters are actually with this extra bounce, not in a rush to commit forward. So there was still an opportunity, maybe bowl. Just back to that projected score. And we're just trying to spot Rexford there. He's pulled that again, with the again, front again. foot, the sweep as such, and on the roof. This is what they need, a few of these. The power player was hoping to see some of this type of hitting. Goes again this nice, time. The length nice, was nice, better nice. to try the uh, sweep shot. I can see they're starting to play a few shots now. So it's been a mindset shift. Probably just wanted to get themselves in. Nine overs bowl, 41 for Nolos. So there's been bowling change. Lovely boots, color coding, perfect. No ball. Another no ball. Yeah, yes, yeah, he's got all of this one. He's got all of it and it's uh, beaten the man at long off. That's up in the air, and uh, he's, I'm afraid. Oh no, he hasn't dropped this, and they haven't run either. So uh, I think Samson was heading back to the change room there. Another chance, but this time it's gone over the man at short fine leg. Not going to run away. It'll be a couple. Samson's coming back for the second, and he gets there. Well, now it looks like they're cutting loose, both batters. Oh, yes, hello, that's one of them. That's useful. That's on the roof and at six. Um. This is a good clean hit. He's dragged it from just outside the off stump and it's gone all the way. On the back foot this time around and through the covers, through the gap, and it's four more. More, James. 
more. So this one, he goes a little short outside the off stump, gives him room, he makes room, and uh, he's found the gap. The back foot again, and it's the gap. And perhaps there were pedestrian in the approach just to get to the 10 over mark and then release. Late cut for four, and the earlier boundary was a six over midwicket. Good firm hitting. Better. Both of them closer to the stumps towards the end of this over, and that's much better. Better comeback. Yes, outside of stump, picks him up towards that cow corner area, and they pick up two. This is good. Good batting, this. Slow again, and uh, off stump is uprooted. No contact from the bowler, and so they'll come through for a single. Floated and a lack of pace. The ball floats to the man who's inside the circle towards third man area. Short third to be exact. And that's the opening wicket, the first. Yes, uh, they are clearly looking to now get back to ball. And a thick outside edge loops to the field there, short third. Well judged catch, end of James. Enterprising innings, 45 of 37, 74 for one. Devinder Singh is the, max, is, the next, is the next man for Uganda. Where are the smiles now? Inside edge. In a flash. No load shading. Four runs. For uh, the new batsman. It's a cross seam delivery. He's gone for the big hit. It's a healthy inside edge and he'll get four. And it's past the outside edge once more through to the keeper. Into the over, 13 gone, 79 for one. That was quick, rushed him. Now there's a right out opportunity and one stump to aim at. Slower, outside of stump, and so it's drilled down the ground for a single. Now he needs to jump over the ropes and come and bat because here's a second. Here's a second. He's hitting straight back to the bowler who's done very well to in fact grab this on his follow through. It was high up to on his right shoulder. Fabulous reactions. Second wicket falls. That's the end of Devender. And uh, I'm not going to guess who's the next man coming in. 2 or 4, 84 for 2. The captains come in. Obed's taking on the responsibility. He has played one innings of note, and it was pretty impressive. Edged and past the keeper. A healthy one. And so it will race for four. And so four. Looks very relaxed, does Lawrence. All he does. Up just past the ball, and he couldn't quite pick up and gather. Frustration from Riazat Shah. Hey! Over the keeper. Last minute effort by Obed Harvey, facing his very first delivery, gets his bat down in the nick of time. Four runs. Around the wicket to the left hander. Just looking to jab at this one. Gets just enough of the toe end of the bat. A hops over the keeper. Nothing much he can do. Targeting the legs. Lovely flick towards uh, square leg. Two in the end. Hundred up. Yes, he's hit this. Now, is he going to clear the man at square leg? No, it's not. That's a very well token. The way the field has taken this ball and from behind we'll get a good idea too you can see there he's set he's still look at that well taken skipper goes for eight hundred for three rexford bakum now oh, this could be an entertaining few overs 
And some officials from the ICC, I believe the vice president of the ICC is here. Let's hit this firmly, probably just be a single. Nice, and pitch nice, nice. the feeling and find out if the match is rained out. Keith, what happens? Who goes through? Is there a shootout? Is there. From nowhere, Riazat has bounced him, picked up a wicket. And uh, I was trying to lead this over the mid-wicket area. It's a good take too by the keeper. Yeah, you can see the bounce and carry. It's a beautiful pitch, really is. Lovely for fast bowlers to run in, hit the deck hard. Samson goes for 39 of 53, 102 for four. Daniel Anefi. But that depends if the umpire thinks it's out. Okay, let's move on. Daniel. Got it through the gap. That's going to be a teaser. That's going to be a teaser. Yes, it is. That ball keeps running away from you. It gets quicker and quicker. He places this well. He's been looking there to get that ball behind square. Oh, he's got all of this one. And that's out the park. It's into the grandstand. By a fair way, you'd say almost 10 meters. 17 hours bowl, 114 for four. Juma Miyagi. Very well bowled. Not allowing Rexford to get underneath it. He's called for a third overthrow. It's Kostin. Uganda here. Oh, he's been castled. Clean bowl, beautiful Yorker by the youngster. He's fired in full and straight. Opener came into bat, less than a runner ball. Something about that doesn't make sense. So potentially the dangerous Rex with Bakum out for five and Ghana 120 for five. You can still get under the ball because that really is better. And, and you're giving yourself more time as well because make no mistake. Oh boy. Oh boy, two and two. He's on a hat trick. Brilliant Joker skills here. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Makuwala, he's our first ball. Excellent Yorker lens, Juma. Well bowled, 18 done, 120 for six. Another good Yorker. Oh, is there enough chance here? And I think that's it. I think that's it, he's out. He's been given. You could just see it was only going to go straight and hit the stumps. Oh. Well fielded, he did fumble it, but uh, the bat had come so far down that he still had time to recover and fire, in, fire it at the stumps. They've all really at the death. Daniel Anefi, 15 of 8, 122 for 7. Oh, that's going to be out. I'm afraid that's out. That's stone dead. If he didn't hit it. It's another good low full toss slash Yorker. And it's missed the full toss. Theodore out for a duck. 122 for eight. Oh, the brilliant Yorker. So the Yorkers, they, both these bowlers have been quick. They've been straight. It's 19 overs bowl, 124 for eight. Shah will finish the 20th over from the Chalet end. Another good Yorker. He starts the final over with. The other thing is, um, I think Malinga as well um, used to do the same as, as Walker. Call his uh, ball is in. Keep his end is a better option. And this is why, because uh, he will be given run out. If you watch and have a look at where the batters are, it's clear that the non striker took off earlier, so he was always, the batter was always going to be struggling to get back. 
Most of the time, the throw would come in to the bowler, which is a close in. Kofi Bagabena has gone for 320, 129 for 9. Oh. That's an inside edge going to run away. Not too far away from uh, the leg stump. It's a French cut, Chinese cut. Call it what you like. The result is the same. It's four of the final delivery. It will take them to 133. The Ugandan top order to give them a good start. You feel uh, 150 would be enough for them to chase down that 134. But it is T20 cricket. There is something in this pitch for the bowlers. I wouldn't say that that's a, a foregone conclusion that they'll win. But money right now would suggest, and good money, that it's Uganda's match to lose. It just was a case of not much happening and too many wickets falling too frequently. But they've got something on the board. That's by no means uh, a score to be laughed at. But let's uh, see how Uganda respond. These are the bowling numbers. Three for 28 for Kenneth Waiswa and then two for Jumamiyaji, one for Cosmas. That's been a good, a very good effort. Brilliant. Restricting them to 133. And the target is 134, which Uganda are going to have to come out and score. In another few minutes, please join us. It's a small target, but it's an iffy one in T20 internationals. 133 for nine is all Ghana could muster. Uganda have that target. Brian Masaba out in the middle. And Simon Sezazi, the two openers. Sezazi, the left-hander. Game plan pinpoint at this stage, particularly if you're aware that you're heading into the next phase of the tournament. It's not a challenging target. Starts with the wide. Groundwork, excellent. Into the gap and it's racing away for four. They open the account, Uganda with the boundary wide and it's slapped away. He'll be pleased that he's got the boundary. He's off the mark, his team's off the mark. Deep extra cover of point and that's the reason why. And that would have gone to hand and that's gone for four. There it is, everything. Everything, and perhaps some sweaty palms there as well. Rexford Bakum. Oh no! A regulation catch at first slip. Through the hands, and that's the first blemish. Very close to the batsman. He had to play at it. Got the edge. Should he have been at a wide slip? Yeah, not the line, but it was the effort out in the deep towards fine leg. That saved a poor, bar, poor delivery, rather. Delicately guided down towards third man for a single to end the over. The second of the overs, 15 for no loss. Fantastic hairstyle. Gugandip Singh. There it is again, and it's vacant on the leg side. It's a lengthy over. Frustrating for the bowler. Leg side off the pad. The finger isn't up yet. It's off the pad. 26 for no loss. Obi Harvey taking the ball from the far end, just one over for come Exford. On guys, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. Sammy. There's a glance at his uh, at the leg side. Yeah. Oh, oh. And the key what thing is turning it into the left hander. Yeah, that one started on middle and it just continued with the arm going down the leg side and it's just helped towards that fine leg boundary for four. Kenyan Airways. 
Well, ball good and straight, and an equally good single taken there. Full slapped through the covers, and it's six runs. Up and over. Run rate comfortable, 97 to win of 91, and if anything is outside off, you'll free those arms. Come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. Massive gap there behind uh, Square, but he's not bowling that line. Well, well played by <laughs> the batsman, <laughs> knowing that that was the case. Allows him to bowl to his field, and there's a better. Shouldn't be allowing that, so that's well played. No. Well fielded. That's the sort of intensity you want. And that should be for. That's all it requires on this fast outfield. Have a look at this. This is a beautiful view. It's almost in the keeper's hands, and then he cut it nice and late. Beautiful. Easy pickings. Do you think Jay should maybe bring another one in? Because at the moment the singles are just coming too easily, aren't they? So you almost want to force the batter to take a risk, do something different. I mean, yeah, we've got the left arm spinner now. He's got. And that has gone all the way through. <coughs> Let's watch the umpire. Yes, straight four buys. Uganda just coasting along. Nine done. I think it's a cricket discussion. She was from the ICC. And when it beats the inner ring through the gap, it's four. We've had a look at the bowling, we've discussed it at length. But right now, Simon has entered the top ten in terms of uh, top run scorers in the tournament. Oh, that's gone high. Is it fine enough, though? No, it's plugged. Sixty now, sixty-three. Ten of his bowls, seventy-six for no loss. Aziz, change of bowling. Aziz Suwali. Over the keeper. Fielded by the man at first slip, and it is called runs. Yes, we're all used to the big shots and the big laps around the corners. This one's also lapped around the corner for four towards fine leg. As it left the bowler's hand, he saw the angle was drifting down the leg side, got into the position early, and then just helped it along. Huh? Hey! Oh, wow! Great wow, catch. What a catch. What a catch. <laughs> Reaction skills at first slip, and I'm almost out the window in the commentary box. Yeah, here it is again. So he's lunging forward and pushes at it. Oh, yeah. What a catch. Brian Masaba. Slightly disappointed because he would have wanted to be there at the end, but what a catch to dismiss him as dissident Mumuza makes his way to the middle. 49 to win of 54. Punch down the ground. Off the back foot for a single. They say two. Slight fumble. Almost pushing that body over that bent front leg. Where 
bowling coaches and in particular spin coaches talk about height. End of the over, 12 gone, 94 one. Tanzania also in their first outing at a decent first wicket stand. That ensured them that 10 wicket victory. Two runs taken here. And then also he dies down the pitch and then looked to play across the line. You're never going to get under that. There won't be weight behind the stroke. And now the misfield will allow them to jog through for three. That'll be the 100. Well paced by the Ugandan team. Simon, apart from that one little blemish a moment ago, has batted beautifully for his 44. You've already secured a spot into the next round. And the victory here. Yeah. There's no ball signaled. No ball signaled. Oh, flirting on the line once again. Legal delivery this time around. They pick up a single on the leg side. Was a free hit and wasn't called a no ball. So now we're back to normal. Here's so is that one? <laughs> I don't think Aziz is aware. He's called it now. I don't think Aziz is aware of what's going on here. And so the umpire perhaps needs to tell him. He's, He's checking his front, front foot. foot. Exactly. He's checking his front foot. The umpire needs to tell him. He's not sure because it's another no ball. It's another no ball. Everybody looks flummoxed from captain to wicket keeper to bowler. The umpire. With the right foot. Now that's legal. That's legal. And it's taken behind the stumps. Hundred and twelve for two. Where's that shot? Let's have a look. <laughs> Continues to flirt with that line. Oh, and a misfield will allow a boundary to go through to end the over. 116 for two. So the benefit of television and someone sitting upstairs and should be able to point that out after one ball. Yeah, so if I semi semi-finals go tomorrow, Daryl, it looks like uh, Uganda are going to be playing Kenya. You know, this is where we've seen Kenya, Rwanda, the best cricket being played. And we know and we say it all the time what good it will do for these cricketing nations. Uh, <coughs> you know, and in time to come with the interesting cricket and grow in there and the growth of these countries as a whole, 17 done. Probably 12 is uh, lean back and hit this over the top. That's a useful stroke. And that's nice. I remember playing in these tournaments, whether it's under 19 tournaments or whatever. And then if you can make the, the team the best 11 or best 12 of the tournament, that is an accomplishment. I, I don't think that's going to be an official announcement. That, that's more about uh, commentators having a bit of fun. little flurry of boundaries there from Riazat to, to end the match. But literally, from the beginning, it's been Uganda's match. Just showing that their depth and quality of cricket just too much for Ghana. And that is a convincing win. They continue their winning ways with an eight wicket win. And this will just set them up nicely. Come the top four, confidence will be high. They've now very familiar with this venue, the pitches and the sort of cricket required to win. There's a scorecard, Sezazi. 56 of 56, not out, so he becomes highest scorer in the tournament. Masaba, the captain, 32. And then 
used it at 10 of 15. Riaz Cha came in, quick fire 17 of 10, 135 for two, wrapping it up in the 18th over. All it required was for Uganda to play smart cricket and the Ghana bowling lineup didn't really have the firepower. The captain turned to eight, seven or eight of his bowlers, his players to try and get a record or two, but it just was never enough. Only real success, Aziz with two for 25. And it's now time to, um, we'll shortly go down to Aslam Kota, not quite now, to talk to the winning captain and it was all over. Never really uh, made to sweat at all, Uganda. Congratulations on qualifying for the semi-finals. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we, we're pumped to make it to the semi-finals, obviously. Uh, in a tournament like this, you can't afford to be complacent. So, yeah, uh, we, I'm happy that we won all our group games and look forward to the semis tomorrow. I've enjoyed watching you bet. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aslam. So this is the match summary. Ghana, 133 for 9. 45 for James, Samson, 39. And 15 for Daniel Kenneth, 3 for 28. Juma, 2 for 23. And uh, Cosmos, 1 for 21. Riaz had picked up a wicket as well. But uh, the two death bowlers were impressive. Ghana were very, very impressive. 135 for 2. Did Uganda, well, they passed the score basically with two down and win by eight wickets.